Have you ever seen the show King of the Hill or Beavis and Butthead? How about Silicon Valley? What do you think these three shows have in common? It turns out they were all written by the same person, Mike Judge. My name is Clayton Collingwood, and as a musician, I often find myself listening to other musicians' style in order to refine my own. I judge bands on their sounds as well as their appearances, and it turns out I'm not the first one to do it. Mike Judge was doing the same thing through his creations. Many people do not realize the impact that these shows had on pop culture at the time. MTV was a huge powerhouse, and Mike Judge's creations were frequently playing on the channel. It was also the first time someone had ever done a reaction channel, which is popular now on YouTube. By being multiply talented, Mike Judge and his list of award-winning creations helped shape pop culture in the mid-90s and early 2000s, especially through music. Now, Mike Judge found all of his success using multiple talents. Most known him as an animator, with his shows such as King of the Hill and Beavis and Butthead, but these aren't his only noticeable works. He's also created live-action television series such as Silicon Valley. He was also director of multiple movies. According to Britannia.com, his most successful movie is Office Space, with the movie Idiocracy being another huge hit. But perhaps his least known talent was Mike Judge was actually a musician. Before any of all this, he would quit his job and become a musician. And on the side, he would submit his animations to sources such as MTV. He was actually also a successful actor, being the villain in the Spy Kids franchise. With all these works, Mike Judge had heavily influenced pop culture at that time. The most obvious influence came through Beavis and Butthead. In the show, the characters would watch a music video, then do a live commentary of the looks and the sounds of the performers. In some instances, the exposure was a good thing. According to the Punk Rock NBA, a YouTube channel, Rob Zombie, who was the director of the most successful solo artist of all time, owes his rapid success to the music industry due to the review on Beavis and Butthead. On the other hand, the band Crowbar blames the show for falling out in popularity due to the negative portrayal. Another big hit was the movie Office Space, which according to thefamouspeople.com, amassed a huge cult following due to its comedic portrayal of the office worker. These works also received a lot of recognition in the form of awards. In 1999, King of the Hill won the Emmy for the Most Outstanding Animated Program. It has also been nominated for multiple other rewards through various agencies, such as the Critics' Choice Award and the Golden Globe Award. In conclusion, Mike Judge has done a lot of things in his life. By being talented in many fields, he left a large impact on the culture of the 90s and 2000s. But not only was his work influential, it was award-winning as well. Despite all the success, he is actually not that big of a name when it comes to directors and animators. However, he did make his big name content, and to me, the best directors are known for what they make, not necessarily their names.